what are your views on the current scenario of the construction industry in India? The overall economic policy scenario seems to encourage more of construction activity, whether it is in the projects, whether it is the real estate sector, or whether it is in various other segments of activity. So, the the in a developing economy, the role of the sector is very much there. It may pick up at certain stages. It may not be that uh, vibrant at certain times. So the question is, how uh, how vibrant can it be in uh, tune with the economic policies of the government at a particular point in time? What does the current market analysis indicate with regard to sustainable construction practices? A sustainable construction practices is a is a basis on which uh, most uh, smart cities have to be uh, developed. And I am also looking at the uh, climate resilience and disaster resilience and unless there is a good building practices, you can have a lot of losses of lives also. And it is necessary for the quality of life as well as life itself. How is the government aligning its policies towards making much more sustainable construction practices in the country? One of the things in terms of new building, whether it is industrial building or housing, is about using a lot of renewable energy to meet the requirements of the house itself or the industry itself and probably making the entire place green. That is one thing that I would see. The second thing I see is that in use of construction material for construction, uh, a lot of fly ash can be used. It is uh, coming up in some way. This is something that can get a much uh, bigger boost. I think this is the way it will be going forward. One more and more use of uh, uh, renewable energy in meeting the needs of uh, the residents as well as the industry. Plus uh, using a lot of these uh, waste like fly ash in the construction. That will help us uh, take it uh, forward quite a bit. today Mr. Karkera and uh, Mr. Hari Prasad, Directors of Grand Prix. Welcome to Ace Tech TV. Thank you. So tell us something about the Grand Prix brand and the inception of the brand. Well, it all began uh, roughly around 1972. That's the time when I started this particular business. Uh, the name Grand Prix actually originated because of my love towards this uh, car racing Formula One. That's what uh, I was very interested in. But gradually, I found this particular name really catching up with the customers. I mean, customers remembered the name. Because many of them, I mean, as usual, they asked me, how did you name this particular air conditioning company as Grand Prix Air Conditioning? How is that? But then the question, the moment they ask a question, that is registered in their brain. That is how exactly, I mean, even today, for this, our particular other products also, that's doing wonders over all over. So is there anything special about the technology used in these pools? We have selected two of the best products in the world for swimming pools. One of them is from Mirthat Pools from Italy and the other one is from Magiline in France. Both these products have a different customer range and they have a very different uh, technology by themselves. So in Mirtha Pools, you don't need to do any construction. All you need to do is uh, give us the drawing and the entire pool will be made in stainless steel panels from the factory. So that eliminates the entire civil work the contractor's jobs and the pool can be just assembled at site like a Lego toy. And as far as Magiline is concerned, Magiline has got a very unique filtration system which is only one of its kind in the world. And that eliminates all the plumbing, the plant room, which is a big uh, hassle as uh, people start using the pools. So here we are, I am showing you the pipeless filter sy filtration system which is installed here. This filtration system is a system in itself totally. There is no plumbing, there is no plant room, there is no machine room. All you need is a simple electrical supply and it works on its own. Thank you for watching Ace Tech TV.